To paraphrase the smart philosopher Thomas Sowell, those who enjoy meetings should not be in charge of anything. So today, I wanna to talk a bit more about a personal opinion. Let's just call this something of a pet peeve. I wanna talk about how I think meetings suck. So what do I mean? Do, should we just cancel all meetings and just say, we're not having any meetings anymore? As much as I would love that, I don't think we can get to that far, but let's, let's break this down a little bit here, okay? Um, meetings should only be held if you absolutely have to have all those people in the same space to get done what you need to get done. So could this be handled via email? If yes, you don't need a meeting. Could you shoot someone a message on Slack or a text or whatever? Then you don't need a meeting, right? Like, I'm tired of everyone just booking meetings. Be like, oh, your calendar's open, I'll invite you into the meeting. Then you get in there and you spend an hour just sitting there listening to someone talk about something you have absolutely nothing to do with. And my biggest pet peeve out of all of these are the daily stand-up meetings. Let's break this down. Daily stand-up meetings are supposed to be a stand-up meeting, meaning when we're all in person, we're all literally standing up and talking and being like, hey, what'd you get done, what'd you get done, what'd you get done, and then everyone wants to get the hell out of there because you're standing around and no one needs to be standing around. That's why it's called a stand-up. Nowadays, it's not. Nowadays, a daily stand-up is turning into sometimes a half hour or longer meeting every single day where all we do is we someone pulls up the JIRA board and then we go through and we say, okay, Bob, what'd you do yesterday? Okay, can I move this one over? Can I put this one into progress? Yeah, okay, well, how many points is this? Do we have enough points associated with this? Okay, and oh, you, you didn't put your comments in there and the acceptance criteria are those, no, you know, I need a little bit more information there. Really? This is not something that all nine other people on the call need to be listening to. And we don't need someone to sit there and tell us to drag some, just do it. Just whatever you need to do, get it done, right? This is, this is crazy. A stand-up meeting should be this. Anyone have any problems? I do, what's your problem? I'm stuck, I can't get this thing done. Awesome, you, all good. You, all good. You, I think I'm fine, I may have some issues, I'll hit you up later, sounds great. You, like, that's it. That's how a stand-up meeting should go. This should not be a half hour of everyone's time being sucked away for no reason other than someone's lonely. I mean, come on. Think about this for a second. Let's say you have 10 people, and let's say those 10 people make $100,000 a year. So that means they're basically making about 50 bucks an hour. So we have 10 people, 50 bucks an hour for a half hour. Let's just say an hour meeting, because everyone likes to book an hour meeting, just a regular ass meeting. So we have 10 people at 50 bucks an hour for one hour of time. That's $500. Ask yourself, would I pay $500 to have everyone to talk about what I want to talk about for the next hour? If the answer is no, you shouldn't have that meeting because that's what you're doing. It's costing $500 to have that meeting. Or let's say stand-ups are a half hour long with 10 people, same situation, right? Well, now you're paying $250 and they're daily stand-ups. So we have to do this five times a week. Now we're looking at $1,250 a week. So is your half hour daily stand-up meeting really worth $1,200 a week? I already know the answer is no, it's not. It's absolutely not. You do not need all this to waste everyone's time for all this stuff. And, and oh, I keep coming back to the stand-ups, but you guys all know this thing. You get that one manager that comes in and they're like, hey, you know, I'm really tired of having, you know, when I ask someone a question and then they say, I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Like, that just means you weren't paying attention. This is the time when we all could be hearing what everyone else is doing. I don't care what everyone else is doing. I really don't. That's your job. You're the manager. You're supposed to be paying attention to what everyone else is doing. I'm supposed to be working on my shit and then dealing with the people I need to deal with. And if someone has a problem, you say, hey, Adam, I got a problem. Oh, cool, what's your problem? Don't be like, blah, 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 blah. What do you think, Adam? Nope, I'm not gonna answer you, because that's stupid. If you have a question, address me first. Adam, I have a question for you. Oh, okay, cool, now you have my attention. Now ask the question, what is your question? Okay, cool, I can answer you. I can answer that question, no problem. We, like, everyone feels that these meetings are like some type of a, I don't know, a, 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 a religious ceremony that has to be done in a very specific way. It's not. It's a complete time waste and it needs to be cut the hell out. It's a huge waste of money and it's a huge waste of everyone's time. And I'm not talking about just these stand-up meetings, but just most meetings in general. Stop inviting people to meetings that don't need to be there. And if you don't need to be in the meeting, get up and leave. I think Elon Musk said that, like, hey, if you don't need to be in the meeting, leave. And when the meeting's over, end it. Don't be like, oh, well, we got 15 more minutes. 
Anyone else want to say something? Because you always got that one tool that sticks their hand up, I got something, and then, oh, we're all stuck. It's Friday at 4 o'clock. Who don't care what your problem is? It's one problem that you're having with that guy. Deal with it on your own. We don't need to hear this shit, right? Like, come on, people. Like, I get it. A lot of you guys don't have friends, and you really just want to book all these meetings so that you feel popular. I'm fine not being popular. Leave me out of these meetings. Leave the people that are doing the work available to do the work. And if you have an issue or you need have a question or you need something, hit them up directly. Another fun thing. Don't say hi. Don't say hello. Don't say what's up. Don't send me anyone a message that just says, hey. Now you're going to get another message back five minutes later. Hey. And then you're going to reply back to them. Oh, hey, I want to see it. Blah, 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 blah. And that person's now gone looking at something else. It took you 15 minutes to get an answer to a question because you started with, hey, just start with the question with, hey, I got a question for you. How do I solve this problem? Question mark, enter. That's it. How hard is that? And then when that person gets the message, they can be like, oh, I have, a, oh, all you got to do is this, enter. Your problem is solved in a minute and not 15 minutes. These are very common sense things that everybody could be doing and saving everyone a ton of time and money. So. Please, if you are one of these people that's desperate for friendship and setting up all these meetings, I would love for you to rethink how you're scheduling these meetings and what you're actually asking of people. Do they need to be at that meeting? Save the money, save the time, save everyone's sanity from losing their total, utter by going to all these meetings all day and not getting anything done. You have the meeting people, which is your managers, and then you have the doers, which is the engineers and the developers. Let the doers do have all your meetings you want. Leave the doers out, okay? That's it, that's my rant. I'm gonna let you guys go, it's Friday. I don't wanna be here anymore. This meeting is over, later.